12,000 miles down, about 8,000 or so to go. That includes rowing solo across the Pacific Ocean. British adventurer Sarah Uton's on a human-powered journey from London to London. ABC reports Uton has come face to face with bears, fought off snakes, braved shark-infested waters, and turned down three marriage proposals. Uton's not just rowing, she's also cycling and kayaking on the 20,000 mile trek aimed to raise money for charity and help teach kids about exercise. Hello, I'm Sarah. Today we're going to look at the question, what happens when we exercise? When we exercise, our muscles will work harder than they normally do. Uton is also blogging for The Independent during the journey, her latest entry says she's about to set off on a 4,500 nautical mile solo row across the North Pacific Ocean, which will take her from Japan to Canada. And while there aren't many certainties when you're using only human power to loop the world, one thing is for sure, there'll be many more adventures to come. With those adventures have come tales of inspiration. Uden met up with a man named Gao on her travels. He'd never cycled more than 10 kilometers and didn't even own a bike at the time. But Gao's brother bet him he wouldn't make the 4,000 kilometer ride with Uten to Beijing. It took 35 days, but they made it. On her website, Uten estimates the journey will total more than 20,000 miles. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.